Welcome back to the Lost Constellations. I'm John Berentine, Director of Public Policy at IDA. Throughout International Dark Sky Week 2020, we've explored constellations that once appeared on star charts, but that were discarded in the early 20th century in a process that gave us the night sky recognized by modern astronomers. Today's Lost Constellation is Felis the Cat. Including obsolete figures, a total of 52 constellations proposed since antiquity represent some kind of animal. Of these, 41 appear on modern star charts, while 11 have fallen into disuse. Those 41 constellations comprise some 47% of all modern constellations, making animals by far the most prevalent type. Although Felis didn't survive the early 20th century cut that defined the modern canon of constellations, it once sat alongside three domestic dogs and three wild cats on maps of the night sky. Felis was one of several constellations invented by the French astronomer Jérôme de Lalande, whom we met yesterday. Born in 1732, Lalande trained as a lawyer in his youth, but soon found astronomy and pursued it for the rest of his life. He made a name for himself early in his scientific career with a measurement of the moon's distance from Earth in 1751 that was remarkably precise for its time. Ten years later, he became a professor of astronomy at the Collège de France, a position he held for nearly a half century, and during which time he coincidentally recorded an observation of the planet Neptune some 51 years before its recognized discovery. Decades after his death, the American author Richard Hinckley Allen described Lalande as, quote, the enthusiastic astronomer who would spend nights on the Pont Neuf over the Seine, explaining the wonders of the variable star Algol to all whom he could interest in the subject, and whose seclusion in his observatory amid the turmoil of the French Revolution enabled him to thank his stars that he had escaped the fate of so many of his friends." Unquote. Inspired by a poem about cats by the French writer and politician Claude Antoine Guillaume de Chevier, Lalande formed the constellation Phoebus around 1799 from some faint stars just south of the main body of Hydra, the sea serpent. As he later wrote in his Histoire à de l'Astronomie, 1803, Quote, the large number of stars I supplied to Monsieur Bode gave me some right to shape new constellations. There were already 33 animals in the sky, so I put in a 34th one, the cat, unquote. He referred to his friend, Johann Elot Bode, a German astronomer who incorporated a number of Lalande's suggested constellation in his star atlases, beginning with 1801's Uranographia. By mid-century, Felis appeared on most European star charts. However, its stars were not conspicuous, and other celestial map makers, especially Americans, resisted many of the recently invented constellations from Europe and refused to add Felis to their charts of the night sky. The French astronomer Camille Flammarion pronounced it extinct in 1882's Les Etoiles et la Curiosité du Ciel. Flammarion wrote, quote, Lalande's cat, the latest constellation created, is more than superfluous, and it has disappeared from modern charts. The small stars which were used to form it have returned to Hydra and to the air pump, a constellation now called Antlia. The figure of Felis gradually disappeared from star charts by 1900, and its stars were subsumed into the neighboring figure of Hydra when the official modern constellation boundaries were decided and drawn in 1930. However, the cat lives on. Its brightest star, HD 85951, was officially named Felis by the International Astronomical Union in 2018 and now appears on the list of IAU-approved star names. To locate the stars that were once the constellation Felis, first find the bright star Regulus in Leo, and from there look southwest for the star Alphard, the brightest star in the constellation Hydra. Alphard is usually easy to spot because there are no other particularly bright stars near it. To the east and slightly south of Alphard are a few other fainter stars that mark the body of Hydra. Phoebus is the group of faint stars immediately south of there. Join me again tomorrow when we'll look at a lost constellation that represents an important nocturnal predator and whose name more than resembles some of us who love the night sky, Noctua, the night owl.